Nice. Text to text. I'm even going to put T to T, right? Okay. Here we go. Mom paid for everything. We took the food to the car. My little sister said, I want ice cream. I said, I want ice cream too. Mom said, not now. We have another place to go. We walked back to the mall. We passed the bakery. The little, my little sister said, I want cake. Not today, said Mom. We passed by the pet store. I want a kitty, said my little sister. But you already have a kitty, said Mom. We passed by the toy store. I want a doll, said my little sister. No, said Mom. We need a new dress. My mom walked into the dress store. My mom picked out a dress. My little sister tried it on. Mom said, doesn't she look sweet? I said, yes. Text to text, text to self, text to world connection. Someone hasn't given me one. When um, I was changing into um, my clothes, I got this um, Barbie doll. And I Mom and sister were with me and said, okay, come all over the table over there. What? Said, wow. So that reminds you of that story because she said, wow. Self check. Last page. Mom bought the dress. Then we all went to get an ice cream cone finally. That. Give me a connection. I have, I have a text to okay. text world. Text to world. Connection um, text um, for ice cream because on on TV I saw a commercial for ice cream. Okay. Text to world isn't necessarily television. That would be actually text to TV, right? We've been talking uh, about it to that before. So I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm just going to put, um, let's think about a, a more rich text connection. Do you have a different one? Mm -hmm. Um, I have a text to self connection. Okay. Because um, once we went by the ice cream place and I really wanted some, but then um, we didn't, so we had to go somewhere else, but then we went back and got some. And that reminded you of that? Mm -hmm. Lucas, you took mine. So Come we on. went back, Happy. and I got some. Okay, another connection from someone who has not given me one. Someone who has not given me one. I've gotten one. Give me a connection, my friend. What did that um, book remind you of? When there's shopping and there's bad and there's just things and I want to get, but then when I first asked, we had to leave the store and I couldn't do anything. Like, like you said. So we had to leave because how come? <laughs> I have to. How come? How come you had to? It wasn't because you were making good choices, I'm sure. Your father said you have to go home and stay in your bed. You begged once too many, didn't you? And so he said, that's enough. Go to your room when we get home. Okay, so um, we were shopping with Dad one, and we had to go home, and I had to go to bed. To bed? Without that? Really? Oh, stop, check. Because I begged too much. <laughs> it's embarrassing, Aiden. It is. Well, but you know, I bet that when they said that in the story, didn't it make you think of that time? Yes. Certainly. And that's what a connection is. It reminds you of something that you're about what you're reading about. And that's what it is. Okay? Give me a connection. Um, I remember when I wanted a pet at the pet store, and then my mom no. Mm -hmm. And I kept begging her, but she kept on saying no. Mm -hmm. well, so she didn't give in either, like little Critter's mother, right? Huh? She said no. no. Okay, I'm only taking those from people I have not gotten one from. Um, once I was trying on something, uh -huh. and my mom asked my brother, I lived it up. Okay. <laughs> did you laugh? Yeah. That's a, you're, she has a younger brother, um, and so they sometimes say things that are pretty funny. And that happened in the book, too, didn't it? But they didn't laugh, and he didn't say no. Yeah. So that reminded you of that time. Give me another text connection. When I, uh, I was 
Christmas shopping with my mom and my brother. And I got me a dress. <laughs> and then at Ladies. And then we went to the mall and got me a shirt for it. Mm -hmm. And a sweater. Mm -hmm. um, Jared picked me out to be that old lady. He did. Your brother. Yeah. <laughs> Hands down so you can hear me, please. Hands down so you can hear me, please. So all of these pages and all of the comments that we say remind us of things. They help us think about the text. So the second thing we're going to do with this is now see, is there anything, if I look back on these and I'm, and I'm kind of looking at my lesson, so what we want to know is when we make a connection, sometimes it's going to help us understand the book. And sometimes it's not going to help us understand the book. And how, and how someone might feel in the story. So we're going to go through all of these with a different color pen this time and look for those things. I'm actually going to highlight it. I think that would be better. Uh, we're going to look for all those things that helped us understand how a character maybe was feeling the story. If they didn't help us with the story, we're going to leave it blank. Let's see how many connections help us with the story. So here we go. I remember I was going to the mall with my mom and it was fun. Did they have a fun time at the mall? Yeah. Did that help us understand how the characters are feeling about being in the mall? Yeah. It might have, yeah. So we're going to highlight it. I can remember when I, I got heavy too. Does that help us remember or think about the text? No. no. Okay, some people are saying yes, some people are saying no. If it does help you, can you explain a little bit more? <coughs> Tell me more. Okay. What does it make you think? What does it make you feel for the book? Does it make you think or feel something? Um, yeah, because one time I had that experience, and she ran into, um, even though she's um, <coughs> a little, well, I'm older than her. By a few still, minutes. Yeah, by a <laughs> yeah. few minutes. Um, she's still a lot heavier than me, taller than me. So. Mm -hmm. And so how did this, I remember when I got heavy, how did that help you relate to the text, or help you relate to the characters or things that were happening in the story? That's because, what I'm looking for. Um, little critter said that he that she was too heavy for him to um, actually push the cart with. And so did it help you know how that felt? Yeah. Yeah. Because you had experienced it before. So I'm gonna go ahead and underline that. And I think that with I remember when my sister and brother used to push me. Do you think that helps us relate no. to the text? Yeah. No. Do you think it helps us relate to the text? Do you think it helps us relate to the text? Mm -hmm. How? <clears throat> How? How does it help us relate to the text? Help me um, out here. Relate to, um, I remember when, um, my, my brother got, um, heavy. A fury. Um, the text, um, helps you with, like, the story if you don't understand it. Right, right. It helps you know how the character feels. So how does this sentence, I remember when my sister or brother used to push me, how does that help you relate to the characters in the text? Um, it's really the same thing of getting heavy. Yeah, what, do you feel, what did you feel when they did that? Let me show you what I felt. I remember pushing my, my own children and my brother, because I have a younger brother than me. And so I can feel like when they get heavy, it was like, whoa, and I almost felt my muscles go, whoa. Who else felt like that? Yeah, that's how this part relates to, because you pushed your brothers and sisters, and he is pushing, and he knows how heavy that feels, and you have had that experience in the cart. Okay, I remember when I pushed the cart, um, when, I, when I pushed the cart, and it was so heavy. Does that help us relate to the text? That's kind of like along with this one, so we'll put that one with that one. I think that definitely, definitely helped us. Self check. He forgot and it. Okay, I went to Hannaford and I couldn't get brownies. Does that help us relate yeah. to the text? No. How does that help us relate to the text? Yeah. Um, because the little sister keeps asking for stuff like candy. Yeah, and so how does it make us understand how she feels? How does she feel then, do you think? She feels like happy when she gets the boat one, but she feels sad when she doesn't get the things Mad. she wants. Yeah. Raise your hand if you've ever gone to the store and your parents have said no, you can't have that. Oh, okay, yeah. put your hands down. Raise your hand when you finally beg and beg and beg and they give in and they say, okay, how do you feel? Yay! Yeah. 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 That's why you do it! Yeah! Oh, yeah. Yes, I get it. Okay. With me? 
I know this is a lot of fun, isn't it? I wanted to pat the gum. I wanted to pat the gum, and mom said no. I beg. So that's really along with this other one, right? So we gave lots of different examples. Ah, I had a temper tantrum when I didn't get what I wanted. Yeah. Raise your hand if you've ever had a temper tantrum because you didn't get what you wanted. That's my and did it work? No. 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 Yes. Yes. no. And so, so did it work for little critter sister? No. 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 She still didn't. So you can totally get how she didn't get what she wanted. I did. I got. Okay. When I was a when I was bad once, I got a huge spanking. <laughs> did little, does it help us with the book, though? No, no, no. no. How does it help us with the book? Someone says yes. Um, no. She did almost get a spanking, right? And so you, so as soon as you think you're gonna get a spanking, if if, if that, that happens at your house, what do you do? Uh, stop spanking. What do you do if you think you're gonna get a spanking? Uh, run away. Uh, or you just kind of go, what? What do you say? Stop begging. What do you say? Um, I heard it already. What do you sorry? do? Sorry. I mean, say, stop begging. You stop begging. You kind of go, whoa, no, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, yeah, I'm all set. Because <laughs> you don't want to get in trouble, yeah, right? Yeah. And maybe <laughs> in our house, that's a timeout, or it's, you have to write your spelling word so many times. So, so my kids yeah. will be like, oh, oh all set, mom. I'm or good. you punish I'm them. Because you don't, this that's is their what, consequence. Yeah. Um, okay. So we can relate to that. Let's go to the next one. I know this is so much fun, but we can't talk over people. When I was little and I wanted a rubber duck, um, I begged and she said no. So that was, again, kind of with all that. We know how the character feels because when we beg, then we know. We have this great text-to-text -text connection. This book reminds me of, um, of Me Too, another little critter book. Um, and the little critter looks, looks annoyed. Is little critter annoyed with his sister all the time in those no. books? Yeah. yeah. Pretty much is, yeah. And that helps us understand how little critter feels because what happens when you're annoyed with your little brothers and sisters? I don't have I just go up to the in my room. Okay, what happens when your your brother's much younger than you? I'm like, well, he's four years old. Right. And I keep on saying, Ben, stop it. Yeah. What else do you do? You, you don't have a younger brother or sister. No, but What do you do with your younger brother or sister? Your brother and your brother. What do you do when, when he keeps bugging you or following you? I say, will you stop it? So can you relate? Can you relate to how little Critter feels to his sister? Can you relate if you have a younger brother or sister? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. 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 you experience it. I can relate. I have a younger brother. So we can we can put that there. Okay. We have a few more. Hang with me. Hang with me. When I was changing into new clothes, my mom and my sister were with me and said, "Wow!" At the end of that book, that's kind of what happens. So you you do do you think that that helps you understand what's going on with the characters? Yeah. Yeah. You know that it makes you feel what when someone says, "Wow." How does it make you feel when they when you try on new clothes Good. and they say, wow? It makes you feel good inside. And you think, wow, I'm looking pretty stylish today, right? Yeah, okay. Once we just went to buy ice by the ice cream place and we went back and then I got some. How does it make you feel when, when you get what you what you wanted at the end? Awesome. 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 And so how did little critter and his sister feel, do you think? Awesome. They were pretty, they thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. So that helps you, that connection helps you. Now you know what's funny? Last night I said that to a lot of moms and dads. You might not even realize how many times you make connections in books, but you do. Look at all these connections. Almost all of these hold true. Um, shopping with dad, we had to go home because we had because I had to go to bed because I begged too much. Did she take them home? No. She didn't. So can we relate that to the to the book? No. Not really. But we know in our house that might happen, right? And the last one, I wanted a pet. I kept begging, and she said no. Kind of goes with that one. Um, but did that keep happening in the book? Yeah. yeah. Did they always get what they wanted? No. And so you know, as a reader, how that feels to sometimes go home without getting what you really want. Okay. So. Text to text, text to self, text to world connections are very important. We do it all the time. Your moms and dads do it. That's what good readers do. And your moms and dads are good readers because they're adult readers. And we make connections all the time because it helps us understand how the characters feel. It helps us predict what would happen in the story. It helps us remember what happens in the story. And it brings back those memories so that we can connect them. So we know exactly how those characters, what they're, what they're going to go through. Okay. So we're going to keep working on it next week, and then we'll be finished, and we'll go on to the next thing, which I believe is visualization, making movies in your head, which is my favorite, favorite of all you know. Make, it's making movies in your head. Okay, go ahead.